Today, I'm happy to be doing the Farmhouse DIY Challenge hosted by Heidi Sample. The links will be in the description below. We're gonna make two thrift flips for my Farmhouse DIYs. I'm Brandy and welcome to Making It My Own. For Farmhouse Project Number One, I have three of these little coat hanger hooks from the thrift store. I have a Dollar Tree picture and I have a thrifted, this looks like a karate belt holder. I just pulled the elastics off of it and filled in his name with the wood filler. I'm gonna take my Rust-Oleum chalked paint in white and I'm gonna give it three coats and let it dry thoroughly. I'm gonna use my Krylon Fusion in metallic copper to spray my hooks. Once my board is dry, I'm going to decide where I want to put my picture. I'm gonna use these command strips to put them on. This way I can change my project out for the seasons and put a different picture on here. Just follow your directions for the command strips. They're very simple to use and my experience has been a positive one. They work very well. Just gonna place these down and press them in place. I'm gonna follow the amount of time that I'm supposed to on the directions and then I'm going to flip it over and place it sort of in the top of my board. And this way it's gonna cover up um, that name a little bit too because it does still show just a little bit through my chalk paint. I'm measuring this to make sure that I have it in the center before I press it down. Although these strips are removable and you could fix it if you make a mistake. So as the directions say, you're going to pop the picture off and then let those strips cure on the picture and on your board. So I'm just going to set it aside and start working on my hardware. I love the plank look of this sign. That's what really made me choose it. So I'm gonna take my gorgeous little copper hooks and look for what placement I want for those. think something like this would work and still give plenty of room if I decided to hang any type of decor or hats or clothing on here. Just going to measure and then use my pencil to mark the dots where I'm going to put my screws. Now you'll see that I'd only have one, two, three, four, five, six screws and there are 12 holes. I'm working on using the items I already have in my house rather than going out and buying more. So I'm going to make use of what I have and then I'll show you how I fix the missing screws until I can get some replacements. So now I'm just finding the center to put the last one on there. I don't do any pilot holes because this is actual real wood, but you can certainly do that with your drill if you need to. And I'm just going to slowly work these into the wood. Twist it around to make sure that it's straight and then I'm going to do this to all three of my hangers. There they are, nice and strong. So now back up to the picture part and it is cured. It's been there for the right amount of time and I can flip it over and now attach it. Okay, so I'm gonna take two different color of my Deco Art metallic paints. They're both coppers. I'm gonna just take a little scrap of cardboard on the side, mix my two different colors together to try to get as close as I can of a match to the spray paint that I used on these hooks. I'm gonna go over each one of those black screws with this metallic paint. You have to be very careful. Um, I didn't want to do this beforehand and then use the screw gun and then take the paint away or lift it or chip it or chip it. So I just went ahead and um, dotted this on here afterwards. If you're afraid that you're going to make a mess, just be sure that you have 
um, something that you can put around the edges, maybe a piece of paper or something to keep it from making a mess on your pretty white clean finish. I'm going to do this to each one of these screws carefully around the edges. And then it's in a fast motion, some of it, so take your time though. Then I'm just going to use the same color paint and just dab in those little screw holes on the bottom where I don't have screws yet. And it works great. It's okay for me and it doesn't have to be perfect. Our projects are about making it our own. And so, you know, this will be in my house and it's perfectly okay for me. Now I'm going to sort of dry brush the color that I came up with on top of the other so that everything sort of blends and coordinates and matches together. Just going to brush it over some of the edges and the high points and then I'm going to go back and add a little bit of that to the picture frame because that frame is coming off a little gold in the camera but it's actually more of a bronzy copper color. I could also have used some wax but this is what it looks like. You can use this to hang hats, coats, your purses, uh, big keychains. You can use it for wreaths or decor. You could use it for scarves. You could really use it for anything. And then you can, because we use command strips, we can pop that picture off and we can change it out seasonally, which would be wonderful. You could also put it on your porch with a beach picture maybe and use it to hang beach towels. What do you think? I think this is definitely farmhouse. It doesn't have much distressing and the wood is stark white, but I think it'll do the trick. Maybe it's more modern farmhouse. What do you think? All right, on to the next. Here's number two. This is a thrifted piece that I got from Goodwill. It is quite dirty and it needs some love. So I'm gonna clean it up nicely. Now you see that it is all clean. I lightly sanded over the scuff marks and I spray painted it two coats of the flat white paint. Just a little bit on the inside, you won't be able to see it. Then I'm going to take this antiquing wax and a stippling or a stencil brush and I, it's a dry brush and I'm just going to go over all of the high points and the edges and ridges in this little hanging planner. Go down there in those little grooves. And then I'm just going to take a dry tissue and use a dry cloth or a dry brush if you like and I'm just going to lightly rub over that. This is to give it a slightly aged look and this is how it looks. Maybe more of a romantic farmhouse or a cottage farmhouse. Here it is outside. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my videos. Thank you, Heidi, for the opportunity. I'll see you again soon. Bye.